time to kick the tires and light the fires. Down and quiet. We are off and rolling. 45 minute championship. A main here at the Dirt Nitro Challenge 2022. Presented by A main Hobbies and Pro Line. Let's go flying. He catches it though. Sorry, go ahead. A beautiful camera shot there from beachrc.com catching the field flying in as these guys began their long gruel 45 minute championship final here in paris california sunday night oh. under the lights i think mason fuller just car had his car totally upside down and somehow saved it but joe bornhorse and jared tebow getting away really clean Excellent start for Joe Bornhorse. Many fans in the chat here. Hales from Ohio. TQ in the DNC. And look at the lead he's got on lap one and a half. Joe rocking the S-Works, making it happen, doing what he needs to do at the drop of the flag here. See the antenna whip there. That is Tebow's ride. Much better start for Bornhorse than he had last night in either of his races. Tebow getting way clean. Mayfield trying to catch up. Who's that behind him? Is that Lutz? Cross the star finish line. There's Mayfield right behind Tebow. Then it's going to be Lutz. As we complete lap number two here, we saw Mason Puller have a little bit of trouble. Davide Angara. Oh, Tebow making a mistake. The world champion there. Moving up to the five spot. Jackson Brunson, then Baruflo, followed by Fenn, Ronald Folk, Ogden Fuller, Jelen Pavitas, Contreras, Rivkin, and Ty Tessman, your bump-up driver. 43 and a half left to go in this long 45 minute gruel at the DNC. 23rd running a set event. Joe Bornhorse, a proud moment to TQ the DNC. Next to the World Championships, this is the one you want to win. Starting on pole is the best you can do to start this. Mayfield to the two, Lutz up to the three. Tebow had that mistake at the beginning of this last lap. He's going to drop down to the four. Trouble for Mayfield. He goes flying down the hill but catches it. So Joe is out front and ripping. He's got the hot lap of the race with a 40.5. 2.15 in quickly. How time flies here in the first couple laps. We talked to many of the pros through the years. They talk about this first fuel stint that they just want to get off and rolling start to get in some sort of a rhythm here start feeling the flow learn the racetrack you see the rally flags out there it is Bornhorst out front doing what he needed to do Mayfield from the three to the two then it's Lutz sitting third spot Tebow is in the four spot last time by we had Jackson Brunson there now it is going to be Marco Barufalo the big mover right now up five spots from ten to five Three Lutz, minutes down. Lutz tapped out. He got into Tebow. Tebow crashed. Lutz went flying off the track. That's going to move Marco up to fourth. He's battling with Lutz. He's going to fall back down to the fifth. So Tebow's going to go to the three. He had a little kerfuffle with uh, Lutz, but it's all straightened out now. Unfortunately, they're just losing time to the top two guys. You see Joe right there in that orange and yellow. Then there's Mayfield. Then it's a massive difference between these guys as they battle it out after that ill racing deal. 41-30 to go. Bornhorse Mayfield. Now they cross the line here. Third spot this time by. It's going to be Jared Tebow. Then lots as they swap spots. Barufalo a bit back. Fell by C.J. Jellin. 41-30 left to go. An eternity here. They talk to all the drivers leading up. They talk how treacherous the track is. Gnarly, as Cavalieri said in their interview. They did try to do some repairs there, which was very surprising. And it caused a little bit of uh, drama as they go, oh, man, Tebow just riding a pipe, a little 50-50 grind all the way around. Somehow able to stick the landing, keep her rolling there in front of Lutz. So here's Tebow coming onto the front straightaway. Going to be another long lap. They're just losing more and more time to Mayfield and Bornhorse. Mayfield comes by with his hot lap of 40.8. Bornhorse has a 40.5 for the hot lap of the race. Tebow making a little bit of a mistake as well as Marco Barufalo. Those guys are racing around for four and five. 40 minutes and 30 seconds to go here in our championship final. Joel Bornhorst looking strong here at the start of this when he's got a four and a half second lead on Mayfield. But after what we watched last night, anything can happen. We saw Mayfield make mistakes in the middle of the race that we haven't seen in years here at this race. When he's out front, he just dominates. And yesterday, he did have his struggles. 
Right now, Bornhorst with a 4.4 second lead under the bridge right there. Tebow, Tebow 11 seconds behind Mayfield with only five minutes in. So you can see the gap that Bornhorst and Mayfield have put on the field in five minutes. It looks like Baruffalo got by Ryan Lutz, so he's going to move to the four spot. So right now it's S-Works, Mugen, Techno, Techno, and Kyosho. Trouble for David Ronafalk. He had a 56-second lap, falls all the way to the bottom of the scoring screen. Tough luck for the world champ. C.J. Jellin on the move, catching all the way up to Ryan Lutz. And he's got Mason Fuller with him. Lots of young guns in this field, Tyler. We got Frankie Contreras started 12th. He's up to 9th. Got Pavitas from 13th to 8th. Fuller started 7th, sitting 7th. As you said, Jellin up to the 6th spot. So these young guns showing they got something to hang with these world champs and seasoned veterans. Tebow and Barufalo run their hot laps back-to-back, a 41-3 and a 41 flat. Tebow 12 seconds behind Ryan Mayfield. Barufalo 4 seconds behind Jared Tebow. It is born horse here leader. He's got 4.6 on Mayfield. Tebow is in third. Barufalo four, both doing their hot laps there. 41-3 and 41-0 respectively there for Tebow and Barufalo. Lutz into five. Jellens, Fuller, Pavitas, and Contreras followed by Dakota Fenn. Round out your top ten. Tebow across the line, 42.5. So still just losing like a second a lap to these guys. Bornhorst out front. There's Bornhorst. Bornhorst just riding that outside rail. He is right now on a mission. There's no doubt about it. Taking a wide line, avoiding those big potholes there in the bottom of the corner. To the backside, double he goes. Six and a half complete. So we got a minute before our first round of pit stops. Joe being methodical out there. Each and every lap has been very consistent. Here, a 41, a 41, a 41, and a 40. He's coming through, starting to come through traffic. It looks like he's got Ronafalk in front of him. Tough luck for David here, having trouble. Like I said, he had that 56-second lap, losing 10 seconds or more. Oh, trouble in the bottom of the pit. Marshall is trying to get there. Joe's got that line down. Oh, oh what wow. a whip. It's like a full corkscrew. So Joe just kind of taking the road less traveled, not hitting any of the bumps around the track. Very consistent, still doing just good lap time. Let's see what this one by. A 41-7 matches. Oh, Mayfield just stepping it up there with a 40.6 pit lane. Gonna, we're going to go to the Tekken instant replay right now. You can see Joe's chassis for a brief moment here. Wow, big whip. Awesome. We expect pit stops now happen 7.42. I'll be curious to see a couple of these guys probably going to go nine. They're going to try to go the nine, sure. Oh, Frankie just broke his car. Oh, no. Big traffic here for your leader. Is that Ungaro? Ungaro right now showing in 12th. I think that was Ungaro that they just went around. And Joe is coming in. We stay with our leader in the pit lane. Eight minutes in. All right, he's up on the blocks. See what he's got on his exit. A bit of traffic, straight as an arrow. Z comes out. Oh, beautiful shot there on the pit out. Joe Bornhorst, stop number one in the books. Money. He's got Mayfield right behind him right now, though. It's the next car in line is Mayfield. Mayfield has not pitted, so we have to think he's going to the nine-minute strategy. I think he did just pit, actually. Did they pit at the same oh, time? Oh, I think they did. Mayfield hit the top of the berm. There's Mayfield. Is he coming into frame here? There he goes. I think he's the third car in line. They, they did, did pit, pit together, together yep. Yeah. All right, here comes Joe. Joe across the line. Just about nine minutes there. There's Joe with a 46-6 pit lap. 48-8 from Mayfield. Mayfield Mayfield's was going to be really quick until he hit the top of the berm. Oh, he crashed again. Mayfield crashed off the track. So he's going to lose some more time to Joe Bornhorst. There's Joe going double, triple. 35 35 left to go. Bornorth, Mayfield, Tebow. Barufalo now from the 10 to the 4. He's only two seconds out of the three. He and Tebow have been yo yoing for a little while. Barufalo had a 47 4 his pit lap. More guys come. Somebody coming in. Is that somebody coming out of the pit lane right Ronald in front Falk. of your leader? That's Ronald Falk. Does a front flip. Contreras' rule looks like they 
Frankie got his car rolling again. It looked like he snapped something off of it, so I'll be really surprised if they got it back going. We got 10 minutes down already in this 45-minute championship final. We're here on LiveRC.com, presented by Amy and Hobbies and Proline, along with Jay Concept, Lead Finger Racing, TLR, AKA, along with Beach RC, ProTech, Nitro Pro Fuel, Antique and Electronics. 34-40. Joe, Ryan, Jared. Bornhorst, Mayfield, Tebow, Barufalo, C.J. Jallen, followed by Mason, Dakota. So Bornhorst out front, Mayfield in second, Tebow in third, Barufalo fourth, C.J. Jallen in the five. Fuller, Finn, Lutz, Pavitas, Tessman, top ten, Brunson, Ronafalk, Rivkin, Ungaro, Ogden, and Catreus Jr. So here's Mayfield, our number two driver. He comes by with his hot lap of 40.1. That's going to be the new hot lap of the race. Mayfield trying to catch up the best he can. He's three and a half seconds behind Joe Bornhorst. Van working his way up to the top there. Started 11th, sitting down now in the five spot. And we pick up said Fenn. Dakota's Fenn hot lap right now, 40.4, kind of where... The fast lap is a 40.1 from Mayfield right there. Lap 16, Mayfield busting out a hot lap. Mayfield to the lead. Mayfield taking the lead here. Joe having a tough lap. Where is Joe? I think Mayfield Joe's crashed. Joe's right there. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's Joe right. in orange and yellow. So, Joe... With a tough mistake here on lap number 17, 16, giving up that lead. Now, Mayfield in a huge mess of traffic here. Coming up to the step up here in the corner jump through the traffic. Look at the amount of cars going together. Oh! There's Mayfield coming around. He still has a gaggle of cars in front of him. A gaggle. That's an official measurement, right? I, yeah. <laughs> Mayfield, Borno, Tebow. Mason Fuller now to the four with Fenn still behind him. Wing high as they come out of the pit. In this whole mess, Joe's catching up just a little bit. Joe showed 1.7 second back. You see that orange car coming into frame. I think it's going to be less than that this time by unless he screws up the last corner. Here's Mayfield across the start finish line. Here comes Joe. You see Joe closing in. Yep, four tenths closer. Mayfield, they go wide. Avoid those big holes there at the bottom of that section. Here they go into the pit of despair. Into the bowl and out. Good line there. Good shot here. Mayfield out front. Somebody flame out. Let's we'll see when they come around who that was. Our leader Mayfield in Bornhorst. This is first and second. Our backside double. Trouble here is our leader now. Oh, oh right underneath. Him. Go look out. Bornhorst cut to the inside. I think he made it through. He did. Here's Mayfield taking that wide line out on that cushion with the left rear. Joe's only two seconds back. 14 minutes complete. Into the pit of despair, as you've called it. Beach RC track cam showing us Mayfield's line. There's Bornhorse right there. Hot lap of the race, Dakota Finn, 39.7 in the fourth spot, trying to catch up to Jared Tebow. So, Fenn got by Fuller, and now to the four. He's nine seconds behind Tebow. We stay with the battle here up front. There's Mayfield. Where's Bornhorth? There's Joe. They both come into frame there through the switchbacks. Way high up there, avoiding all the bumps. Mayfield up and over into the pit. They got trouble down in the pit. 
Oh, somebody upside down. Brunson. Luckily, our leaders make it through. So Mayfield using the wide lines as well. Mayfield and Joe using very similar lines. So awesome to see everybody just lined up here. Lining up, great shot there. So many people here. Many people came from the Southern California area just to watch the championship final. Bumped into Robert Morris out there from OT Tire. He drove up. He said, ah, it's only an hour and a half. We're going to come hang out. Check it out. Watch the best in the world. Mayfield up, the uphill double, or double single. Mayfield starting to do what Mayfield does when he gets in this position. Joe made a mistake. He did. Ryan has not made him. Oh, Ryan peels off. He goes in. That looked like a last-minute decision. Yeah. He's up on the blocks. Down and away. There's Joe. He was a little early. Uh, actually, he wasn't. No, at 8.16. So, yeah, so he's only going seven and a half. So he's, he's fine. Mayfield out front. Tebow across the line. Mayfield, Bornhorst, Tebow, Fan Fuller as pit stop round number two starts to cycle through. How about Ty Tessman? Started from the bump spot of 15 up to sixth overall. Seven seconds behind Fuller. Truly's got this program so locked in. I thought all of the dudes behind him were making a mistake, but they just took their pit lap one lap early, so Mayfield comes in with nobody else in the pit lane. Mayfield out front, Bornhorst, followed by Tebow, Fenden, Fuller. Going to the Teakin instant replay here. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. That was close. He just saw God. <laughs> We're down to 27.45 to go. Mayfield with a 3.7 lead here over Bornhorse. We're sticking with Mayfield as he comes under the bridge here across the start finish line. Bornhorse across the stripe this time by. The gap showing still about the same. Round four second lead for Ryan. Take the wide lane. Nobody's even trying to go tight on that hairpin. You can see it's starting to brush away. You can see the groove there, way high in that corner. Oh. <laughs> Man, there's a triple-double in the pit of despair. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah, that grooming did a whole lot of good. 27 minutes to go. Joe hanging tough. Just He's losing two-tenths a lap. Here's Dakota Finn. Dakota Fend here looking strong in that four spot. Started from the 11. Oh. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Did you see him reach over the double, like hit the brakes <laughs> and then hit the gas again? <clears throat> Tebow still in third, 16 back from Bornhorst. 26.40 to go. Fantastic race we got going on right now. Ryan Mayfield leading away. Leading away. Mayfield, Bornhorse, Tebow, Finn, and Mason Fuller, who's putting in a fantastic run in fifth as well. Baruffalo showing out also. Ronafalk with a long lap as well. Oh, Ronafalk dropping down. Oh, 50-second lap. David losing three laps, or three uh, positions. 26 minutes to go. So out front is the Mugen Whoa. of Mayfield. Joe Bornhorse in the S-Works. Dakota almost exited stage the end of the straightaway, into the fence. <coughs> oh, nice save there from Dakota Fan. Oh, watch it in the pit. That Marshall, oh. Oh, Tebow stuck. Tebow stuck. That's going to move Dakota to the three spot. Dakota going to go by for P3. Oh. Tough luck for Jared. It looked like Jared was maybe, who was he stuck on? Pavitas? Yeah, he's stuck on Ryan Pavitas. 
Pick up Ty Tessman. Ty started 15th. He's showing in 6th. Mayfield out front. 5.6 seconds over Bornhorst. 20 minutes down. 25 minutes to go in this 45-minute championship final. Mayfield, Bornhorst, Fenn, Tebow, Fuller, Tessman, Lutz, Ongaro, Brunson, Ronovalk, Pavitas, Jelen, Ogden, Rivkin, unfortunately Baruffalo, and Contreras out. Bornhorst with a long lap. He comes by with a 51-second lap. He's 15 seconds behind Ryan Mayfield now. Well, Rivkin's out of this one as well. Oh, man, Spencer Rivkin to the bottom of the board there. He's having trouble on lap 26. There's Mason Fuller still standing strong in the five spot, but Mayfield out front. We pick up Mason Fuller here. Driving to HB. He's taking the tight line. Everybody else taking a wide line. The road less traveled. That's right. That's what he's doing. Triple into the pit. Wing high. Nice double oh, triple. These guys still figure, trying to figure it out. Trying to figure out the fast way around. If you wanted to know what color Mason Fuller's chassis is, it's black. Because he just showed it to us. <laughs> 23 and a half to go. Mayfield, Bornhorst, Fan, Tebow, Fuller, your top five. Here's Ronafalk working his way to the back section. David Ronafalk trying to come back after a couple tough laps. There he is on the straightaway. 23-10 to go. Mayfield last lap 41-5. Hot lap still that 37 or 39-7 lap. Two guys in the 39. Rona Falk and Fend. Fend that time by 40.7. Joe has the sickest line through this corner bowl corner that they just went through. He rails it all the way around the outside. Tebow doing hot lap that time for him, 40.6. Trying to catch back up to Dakota Fend. Got to be a little frustrated getting caught up with lap traffic. Time flies when you're having fun. Exactly halfway into this championship final. 22-30. Left to go in 22-30 in the books. It's Mayfield, Bornhorst, Fend at a three. Tebow, four. Fuller, round out your top five at the halfway mark. Tebow, er, Joe just made a little bit of a mistake. Allowed uh, Ronna Falk to unlap himself here. Ronna Falk all the way up to the seventh spot after all that trouble at the beginning. The dude's on a heater. He's just way too far back to really make anything of it. Well, a very wide line there. He saves it. Mayfield out front. Got Bornhorst across the line. Joe, 13.9 second lead for Mayfield. Mayfield last lap, 41-3. Bornhorst with a 43. Dakota Fenn, 39. Oh, no. Dakota with a 46-4. I think that was a pit Did he lap, come maybe. in in pit? Maybe. Might be on a different uh, timing coming in a bit early. It'd be like 8, 7.30 to 8, somewhere okay. in the middle. It was pretty, pretty normal. Yeah, standard. <clears throat> we find Jared Tebow here coming around. He takes the high line up on the cushion. Bornhorst second, Dakota Fenn third, Jared Tebow is four. Fuller, Tessman, Ronafolk, Angaro. Angaro seven seconds behind Ronafolk. Brunson right behind Angaro. Now more guys start to cycle through the pit stops. Tebow's kind of, he's going pretty fast right now, trying to trying to get back up to Dakota Fenn. I'm thinking Tebow, yeah, he pitted a few laps ago. He's going to continue on out there. He just did a 46. That I think that, that was, was his pit lap. lap. Yeah. So he had a 44, but that didn't. That seemed. Ah, Tebo rolls it over. Luckily, rubber back to the dirt. There's Mason Fuller right behind him too. These guys better be careful. Mason Fuller could grab a three. Mayfield, Bornhorst, and Fend. Who's in the 
Fuller and Tebow. Here's Ronafok and Tessman battling for the sixth spot. This is for P6 right now with the 20 minute mark. 20 minutes left to go. It is Mayfield out front with a 13 second lead. Bornhorse has cut it down just a little bit after his really, really long lap. Oh, Tessman trying to jump past Ronafok. It was just a couple of years ago that the two of these guys were on the same team and they would absolutely battle it out. Now they're on two entirely different teams. It's been about six years and uh, they're absolutely battling it out. Just not for first at the moment. 19-20 to go. Oh, Tessman wings and Ronafok made a mistake. Tessman runs into his wing. Oh, Tessman taps out just a little bit. Nineteen minutes to go. Mayfield, Bornhorse, Fan, Tebow, and Fuller, your top five. Mayfield last lap, 41-2. Bornhorse, 41-L. 13.7 seconds. Dakota with a 41-4. So the top three within tenths of a second that time by. Tebow making up a few tenths with a 40.9. He is 4.7 behind Fend. Then it's Fuller. Fuller 1.8 by. Then it's in nine seconds for Ronald Falk. Three seconds back is Tessman. Jackson Brunson. 11 seconds behind Tessman for P7. So the field pretty spread out. Here's Tebow. He's got Mason Fuller catching up to him. Good battle here. The seasoned veteran. World champ there with Mason Fuller. One of the young guns here. These dudes battle it out four or five times a year at the Hobby Plex. We've got world champions from so many disciplines here in racing in this one. Mayfield, Bornhorst, Fent, Tebow, and Fuller, your top five. We're at 17.45 to go. Mason Fuller smells blood. Oh, man, Tebow just reaching. So Fuller's worked his way up to try to catch Tebow, who's still only five, almost six seconds behind Dakota Finn. Mayfield, Bornhorse, Finn, top three. Bornhorse, 13 seconds behind our leader. Dakota Finn is 30 seconds behind Mayfield. Tebow finally making that mistake. He's letting Mason Fuller by for the four spot. And Tebow trying that line now. Caught a little rut, rut in the back section. See if Fuller can put some distance between him and Tebow. 17 minutes to go. Angaro now just getting by, moving up to the eighth spot. There's a Tegan instant replay of the pass. Looks like Tebow's going to come up short. Yep. Catch the rear end of the chassis, flip it over. That's all it took. 16.30 to go. Mayfield continue to stretch it out. Lay the lap down. 41, a 41, a 42, and a 41. Comes by with a 44 that time by. But Joe Bornhorst with a 41.1. They're going to be separated by 10 seconds now. Here's our leader. Pick up Mayfield going into the pit. He's jumping the full double, triple through the pit. He is. Oh, man, beautiful. He's just, just lapped Tebow. Tebow, yeah, so up through fit. You, you beat me to that one. <laughs> 16 minutes to go. Lutz after a killer start down to 11. The people's champ, Cole Ogden, sitting in that 13th spot. Three cars not running in this one. The rest all trying to catch Mayfield. Mayfield with a 10 second lead over Bornhorst. Bornhorst, 20 seconds ahead of Fenn. Fenn, seven seconds ahead of Fuller. Fuller, three and a half in front of Tebow. At 15, 20 to go. So here's Mayfield over the back triple. 
backside double. He's got a rally towel every lap. Yeah, exactly. That guy has not missed a beat. Mayfield on the straight, 41.3. Mayfield, born horse fend. Should be about pit stop time. Yep. Got two more stops to go. He is. He's doing a full triple through that berm. Yep. Mayfield coming over to the backside double. 14.30 to go. I want to say Fuller pitted this lap. So that's and here comes going. Mayfield. Our leader is in. Mayfield down and away. So he comes out of the pit. There's Fuller right in front of him. So Fuller now back on the lead lap. There's Tebow in. Fuller. 14 minutes to go. Tebow doing the triple. I just saw Joe go flying through the background. Mayfield, Born Horse, Fan, Tebow, Fuller, Tesman, Ronald Brunson, followed by Angaro, Lutz, Pavitas, Jelen, and Ogden. Round out your full field here. 13 30 to go. Tebow down and away. Graham is on it. So Mason Fuller is going to go back to the four spot. Dakota Fence checked out on these dudes. Dakota Fence, he's got a 12-second lead last time by. That'll change a bit here as Jared comes in and out of the pit. Dakota Fence, 15 seconds behind Bornhorst. Bornhorst, 16 seconds behind oh. Mayfield. Looks like Tilo just got punted. It kind of, I think it, it's kind of his fault. It looked like he just he rolled the tabletop, but that's unfortunate. 13 minutes to go. 13 to go. We're going to the Teak and instant replay. Let's see what it is. Did he short it? Yeah, he, he shorted did get it. He short. gets back in the gas. Gets back. Oh, oh man. Cross traffic on that one. Man, I don't know who that was it with him. It Mayfield. Mayfield, last lap, 42-3. Bornhorst, 41-3. Fan to 45-9. Tasman to 41-4. Tasman to P4. Tasman getting by Fuller. Fuller one second behind Tasman. Tasman 13 seconds behind Fan. It was Mayfield that uh, got there, collected with yeah. Tebow. So somehow Tessman and Rana Falk have battled their way into the top five conversation. 12 minutes, 12 to go. Oh, Fuller taps out. Rana Falk was for half a second behind Fuller, so Rana Falk now going to go to P5. Final lap of the race, still thin with 39.7 in the three spot. Mayfield, cross the start finish line that time, 41 flat. Mayfield has lapped, it looks like, up to fourth spot. Tessman only eight seconds now behind Dakota Finn. We pick up our leader, Ryan Mayfield. Ryan Mayfield doing Ryan Mayfield things. Up and out, double and triple. He's got that line figured out. Working through traffic, keeping it cool. Cool as the other side of the pillow at night. Mayfield took the win last night in a hard fought for the Truggy division. Mayfield over the hill. There's Mayfield across the line, 43-8. Working through that traffic. Bornhorse second. Fenn, top three. Fenn six and a half in front of Tessman. Rolofalk 1.9 behind Tessman. So Mayfield right in between this Tessman Ronafalk battle at the moment. Oh. oh, David trying to go to the inside. He having to check up big time. He can't really take out the leader. So no. That was really smart of him. Everybody else take notes. 10-15 to go. Mayfield, Bornhorst, and Fenn. 
Song remains the same up front. Across the line, over the bridge, under the bridge. Mayfield, 41-1. Cruise control. Absolutely. Seven seconds, Tessman is back from Dakota Finn. We're at the 10-minute mark. 10-minute we pick up Ty Tessman. Ty Tessman from Canada. Had to work his way out of the B to the 15th spot is where he started here. He's worked his way to the fourth spot. 7.1 off the podium. Behind Dakota Fend. Ooh. Oh, man. Random spin out there. 9.15 to go. Mayfield with a 13.7 second lead over Joe Bornhorst. Fenn, Tasman, Ronald Folk behind him, then Fuller, then Tebow, Brunson, Angaro, Lots and Jelly. Great shot from BeachRC.com. Oh, man, these guys absolutely having to stretch it to try to make the table over single out of the bottom of the berm. Mayfield's not even trying that. He's just driving straight through the berm. Nine minutes to go. So we should get our last pit stop in the next two-ish laps. It feels going fast enough just to not get unlapped by whoever's behind him. <laughs> he knows when he's got to push it and when he doesn't. Yeah, excuse me, Mr. Oh. Tessman. I know you're going fast, but you're going to have to stay behind me. Mayfield, last time by 41-5. Tessman at a 43-0. 8.15 to go. The final round of pit stops. Going to be happening here in the next lap or two. Nobody coming in this time as we have eight minutes to go. Oh, somebody crashed. Rona Folk with a 45 second lap. Fenn with a 48. Tessman goes P3. 48 for Fenn. Didn't know if he may be a pitted. Be pretty early with eight minutes. We'll see. Tebow showing in seven. Mayfield, year later. So, so the pit our, lane going to get very busy right now at the final round of pit stops. Here's our battle for third. Testament makes a little mistake. That's going to allow Dakota to get back around for the three. He comes in for fuel. Here's Gord, a good shot. There's Leanne. Down and away for Ty Testman. Teamwork makes the dream work. Seven minutes, seven to go. Mayfield out front. We pick up Joe Bornhorse. Joe going across the line this time. We'll check the gap. 21 seconds was the last time across the start finish line. The gap between Mayfield and Bornhorse. That will change a little bit here as the final round of pit stops cycle through. We'll see what happens when these guys come around. Oh, poor Joe, just in no man's land. He's in second, but he's not close enough to Ryan, and he's way too far in front of Dakota and Ty. There's Dakota out of the pits. 6.30 to go. Oh, Dakota just went flying. Mayfield, born horse fan, last time by. So Tessman just found his way around Dakota. There's Tessman. There's Finn. They're four seconds apart. Last time at the loop. You can see the distance there. To the backside, triple. Now to the backside, double. Mayfield across the line. Still your leader. Bornar second. Tessman battling here with Fenn. Where's Fenn? Fenn late to the line there. Long oh, lap for Fenn. 51. Wow. Mason Fuller only a second behind to go to Finn now. So Mason's found his way back around David Ronifalk. What a run for Ty Tasman. Started 15th by the bump from the B in third. 5.30 to go. It is Ryan Mayfield with a half a lap lead on the field. Ryan trying to do it back to back. Thank you. 
Five minutes left to go. Mayfield, 21 second lead. Bornhorst, 23 seconds ahead of, of Tessman. Five minutes to go, guys. Five to go. There's Finn. We're down to 440 to go. Mayfield, Bornhorst, and Tasman. Fan Fuller, Ronafock. Oh, Ronafock just crashed in the background. Twenty point five second is the lead. There's Fend across the line. He's two point six behind Tasman. See if Fend can throw some magic to get her the real end. Tasman. Taking that wide line so they can carry that momentum. Oh man, fully punched his Fend. Dakota through this middle jump section. This is a good lap for Dakota Fend. Man, oh man, he is bringing it on Tessman. Into the backside, wing high. Here is Fend. It was 2.6 seconds last time by. This is a good one, a 40.4. He made up almost a second that time on Tessman. 1.8 seconds now. Three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Dakota fan just punching it through that back section into the pit of despair. Oh, he misses it. Oh, what a save. Oh, trying to stay on throttle and keep it going. 3.15 to go. Dakota Finn up the hill, over the hip jump, step down, onto the straightaway in the fourth spot. It is Mayfield out front. Bornhorst 20 seconds back. Tasman 24 seconds behind Bornhorst. Dakota so right, off the track. Right now the top three seems to be settled. Dakota fans going to have to make it happen here with three-second deficit behind Tasman. We continue to follow Dakota Finn here, trying to reel him. See Ty just to the top of the screen. 2.20 to go. Cut it over the back section, over the hip jump. 2.20 to go. Dakota still with the hot lap of the race. 41-7 that time for Mayfield. He put another couple seconds on Joe. Joe safely in second right now over Ty. Ty four seconds did a good over Dakota Fend. We are 43 minutes complete. Two minutes to go. It is Mayfield, Bornhorst, and Tasman. Joe Bornhorst at the start of this one. Started on pole, drove outstanding. Keeping the field behind it, but then just a few small mistakes. It all adds up. Mayfield got out front, and as Tyler said, Mayfield doing what he does. You let him get out front. He knows when to shift it into high gear. He knows when to downshift and just keep it smooth and steady. And he has done that for the last 30 Eight minutes here. He has built up a 21-second lead. We got a minute 15 to go. Arguably the best eight-scale driver of the two centuries coming together. I mean, it's the only thing he doesn't have is a world championship, and you've got to think it's coming with the domination that we've seen in the past three years, four years. It is unbelievable the wins he has racked up here in eight-scale as we are at 53 seconds to go. It is Ryan Mayfield stretching out to a 21-second lead. He had a hard-fought win last night in the truggy. Pulled out front. Oh, a little trouble in here in the pit as our leader. Spins out. Spins out, but he's still got plenty. He's going to have to take it single-single. Plenty of cushion here. Last night he had to fight hard for that truggy win, but he pulled it out in the end. Now we have 30 seconds to go from Mayfield. With a 20-second lead last time, May now maybe down to an 18. As he comes around for one more time, this 
is the final lap of the Pro Nitro Boogie Dirt Nitro Challenge 2022 here on LiveRC.com, presented by A Main Hobbies and Pro Line. He is a master at this race. He did the triple last year. This year, he's trying to take Nitro Truck and Nitro Boogie. As time has finished, all he's got to do is get it to the finish line. <laughs> He oh. has a little trouble in the pit of despair, but he can take all the time he wants. He's got one more decision to make. What's it going to be, paper or plastic? Because he's got this one in the bag as he just takes his time. He knows he's got the W, another brilliant <laughs> drive. He is the master here at the DNC. Last year the winner, this year again, Ryan Mayfield, your champion. Mayfield's going to take the win. Joe Bornhorst going to hang on for a two. Tessman going to get the three. Finn going to get the four. Ronafok the five. Fuller, Tebow, Brunson, Ongaro, Jellin top ten. Pavitas, Ogden, Lutz, Ripken, Barufalo, and Contreras Jr. Woo! Wow. There's not much more you can say. Mayfield's a legend. What a legend. Scotty going to head out there to get some interviews for us. Wow, that was fantastic. Hot lap of the race, Dakota Finn in the four spot. Tough luck for Rivkin, Barufalo, Contreras Jr., not finishing that one out. Got to be stoked for Joe Bornhorst. TQ in finishing up second. Man, like we said, it's it, it's it's hard to beat. Hard to beat Mayfield. Mayfield the only one to go 65 laps. Throwing some roost for the guys in the back, watching him, cheering him on all race. Yeah, shout out to Mason Fuller in the sixth spot. Just absolutely battled it out with some of the best for most of the race. Oh, my goodness. Every time you think you have Mayfield beat, you don't have Mayfield beat. His average lap, 42.1. We're sending it down to Scotty for the interviews for the final race. Run, man. Thanks. Way to go. From the bump, brother? Yeah. Heck yeah. Well, we'll send it down there in a second. We'll get there when it's time. Live here with Ty Tessman, third place here. Man, hard fought, having to do it the hard way out of the B, but to make top three, you have to be pleased with that. Yeah, definitely, just especially how it started. Uh, it was so rough in the back. In warm-up, I felt like I was going around just like I was in the, the B mains, driving the same lines, and it was working awesome. And my car felt great, and I was watching everybody crash. I was like, this is going to be great. And then <laughs> the start of the race, I was doing my lines and just got – just there was so much traffic and so many crashes it just was horrible i think i think those guys almost lapped me at like 10 minutes but since after i got kind of cleared again i was just riding around with them kind of paced and then caught my way back up and it was not easy the track's definitely not easy but ryan for sure earned it um my car was awesome though and i could have been happier but this is a pretty pretty good close second to uh to winning obviously so um, just all my cars and everything worked great. My, my car all weekend worked really great. Just had a lot of bad luck and just stupid stuff happening in qualifying. Um, but it sucks I couldn't have started a little further, front, for, further forward. 
but it is what it is, and it's racing. So I just tried to make the best of my starting position. Um, so I just want to thank all my sponsors for all their support over the years and um, just the great products they give me and su supply me with so I can go race around the tracks fast. So uh, my family back home, uh, my parents for pitting for me all weekend, putting up with me, and then uh, most importantly, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Congratulations. You're always a champ. Well done. Thank you. All right. Ty Tashman. We're at Big Joe. Joe, come on down. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Good job, buddy. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Thank you. Man, you got the start you needed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Perfect start through that first run. Uh, take us through it. Yeah, so I just I tried to really focus on the lines here in the warm-up and, you know, kind of just went everywhere and, and I found something I could do every lap. And uh, really it was just trying to take my time to start. Didn't want to throw it away on the first lap. Um, kind of got a little gap. Took a bunch of deep breaths. It was kind of... <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie, I was freaking out um, leading the Nitro Challenge in Pro Buggy. That's it's a big deal, but um, yeah, I mean, the car was awesome. I mean, I'm, big change this year. Went from went to S-Works, got a completely different car. We're two months in. We're doing good. We're going to get better. It's uh, going to be a bright future. You bring Billy Fisher out, do some mechanicing for you and everything? Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, me and Billy were teammates check, check, check. like years ago. Um, Always good buddies, stayed in touch the whole time. Got this opportunity with S-Works. I gave him a call and said, hey, do you want to go racing with me? And he said, let's do it. And it's been, it's been awesome. I mean, I put together a great program with Adam with the engines and BP Fuel, J-Concepts Tires, MKS Servos, ProTech. Um, I mean, just my whole program, everyone around me, my teammates at Heckerts, they're close to me. I mean... I'm in a really good spot right now. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like A couple months ago in the year last year, I didn't know if I was going to be racing. I, I thought I might be done, and here I am, second in the Nitro Challenge. So I, uh, I'm loving what I'm doing, and we're here to stay. Well, congratulations. Great performance. TQ, second. No shame in that. Well done. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, Joe Bonhurst from S-Work. Excellent job there. Where's the champ? Come on down, Ryan. Woo, man. This was a long week, wasn't it? Very long week, yeah. It was, uh, we got here Monday. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, it's just a uh, crazy weekend. Uh, pretty surprised it went into this way. I mean, I knew my stuff was good, but uh, this race is not easy to win. Um, and uh, typically I have a good nitro challenge and then I have a bad nitro challenge. <laughs> it's like been my, and then with e-buggy, I'm like, yeah, here we go. It's gonna be a bad one, but. Yeah, the car was great. Um, just took a while to get going in the beginning. I was just kind of slowly getting into my groove, like just like Truggy. Luckily, like we talked about before, I got into the groove a little earlier in this race, and Joe was going for it. Joe was fast. Super stoked for him to uh, switch teams and do what he did. Um, yeah, I just got in rhythm. I, I knew I could kind of catch him if I just didn't make mistakes. Mistakes came in that race, you know, from his side and my side, and I ended up just making a little, you know, a few less mistakes. and. Uh, but my car was awesome. Green Reflex, J Concepts tires, perfect out there, slid through the bumps, tons of forward drive. The Mugen, that was probably one of the best uh, A-scales I've ever driven on a rough track, the new MBX-8R. A couple new features on that thing that really help, especially in rough track. So, and then the engine was perfect. Truey took care of the pit stops, dialed every time, so couldn't really ask for anything better, honestly. Well, it was a pleasure watching you again. Like you said, you kind of broke the jinx here back to back. And uh, anybody else you want to shout out and thank? Yeah, I know my wife's uh, at home asleep, but I love my wife and kids. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. My mom and dad, maybe they're walking, you know, watching. And uh, everybody that supports us, you know, uh, we love doing this stuff. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Live RC for uh, letting everybody watch at home. And um, yeah, thanks to Joey putting on this circus of a race that we we hate. Where every time we leave, we're like, we're never coming back. And then two weeks later, we're like, we can't wait for Nitro Challenge. So uh, yeah, it's a good good week. Well, congratulations, champ. Well done. All right, thank you. All right. Big round of applause, Ryan Mayfield, your champion. All right, so that's it here from the podium. We're going to get them uh, handed out trophies. We're going to throw it back to Tyler here in the Nitro Pro Broadcast Studio. All right. Yeah, three pretty excited guys. You can tell that there's a lot of relief in Joe Bornhorst, uh 